Riders on the Storm. The New Redeemed Church, place where miracles happen, souls are saved, and lives are turned around every day. Open the floodgates of heaven.
to the hill which covers our help. We realize our help comes from you. Lord, we can't preach without your anointing. Deliverance will take place without your anointing. Healing will take place without your anointing. We pray now that you will save, set free, and deliver. But God, before we go any further, we ask you to search our hearts. If you find anything that's not like the Lord, we pray that you would remove it, Father God. Forgive us of everything.
that has provided. It's him that has made us. If we enter to join us with Christ Jesus, we ought to have the things we want. He's our provider. He's our way maker. He is. My way out of no way. Let us run. Let us run. I'm not going to hold it on. I promise you. I probably only need 15 minutes. I probably now. But she says something. I hear you over there, Pastor. She said, that's a dangerous word. And that's true. To some, it is a danger word. Because some come looking for healing. Some come looking for deliverance. Some people ain't. Like Pastor said, you'd be surprised they sit here Cigarettes in their pocketbooks. Yeah. You think everybody come for healing. Yeah. You think everybody, you'd be surprised. Man of God, pastor praying for him, I never forget it. Put those cigarettes on the altar. Service was over. They ran up there. Man, I need these, man. I thought you got to receive your deliverance. See, the problem is, reason why some don't receive deliverance, they don't believe. What mama always say, have you received since you believe? Yeah. You'll be surprised something down from God. Yeah. When the big bang theory don't hit them, it ain't moving me. But it comes by faith. Yeah. Let us read, let us read before I get started. I'm trying to time this 10 minutes to one look like. I'm not gonna hold you long, Alvin. I know the keyboard trying to act up on us, but don't you worry, we're gonna get through this. Listen to what he said. Uh, what we at in Ephesian? Is something in Ephesian? Do I want that Ephesian? Ephesians six, Ephesians chapter six. Let's start at the tenth. Let's encourage the man of God. You know we praying for our first lady. Yes, yes. We praying for our pastor Young. Yes. God gonna do it. Yes, he will. Okay, what the devil say? Yes. But we need to pray yes. also for our apostle. Yes. That's like Moses. They told Moses, Sister Jackson, you got too many to lead. But if they were hold his arm up, they begin to hold him and support him. And what we doing, we're supporting the man of God and the spirit. We are praying, we may not come together, but as we're home, we are praying for the man and the woman of God. But listen to what he said, because I promise not to be long. Finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord. We at Ephesians chapter 6, starting at the 10. And in the power of his might. The 11th verse say, put on the whole armor of God that we may be able to stand against the whelms of the devil, which means the trickery of the devil. He try to trick us out our blessing, try to trick us to turn around and go back because it seems like God ain't moving fast enough. But you should hear the key word when I say, it seems like he's not moving, but it's already done. Amen. Sister Karen, healing has already took place. We just got to see the process through because somebody got some faith. Because the doctor has said, you might as well come sign the paper and go home and prepare for burial. But they're still here amongst the living. I told First Lady, Sister Jackson, I said, God told me to tell you, pardon me, your faith is showing. And receive your faith, you got to, you receive your healing, you're going to need faith. To receive your deliverance, it's gonna take faith. You wanna be blessed with a new car, a new job, a new home. It's gonna take faith. Don't you let nobody fool you. You can pray it all you want. You don't believe it, you might as well get up off your knees. I'm praying for some deliverance. I'm praying for some help. I'm praying for some healing. But God told me. What he said in the letter? Uh -huh. Put on the whole armor. That's the problem, preacher.
preacher. I don't need the helmet of salvation. But the man of God, Father in the Lord, already told us, put on, not part, not some, the whole. I don't, I don't, I don't need all of that. What do I have to put on all of that for? Then we get Lexi Daisy. What we start doing, I'm going to tell you what we do. I'm taking this off. I'm taking my heaven of salvation. Dean, feet shot the ground. I'm taking them off. My God. Don't forget what he told Peter. Sin <laughs> lies at the door. In other words, your enemy is at the door waiting for you to take down. The enemy is waiting for you to omit the armor that God has placed in your life. Why are you losing some of the battle? Because you have omitted, you have taken off some of the armor of God. You don't stop praying. You don't stop seeking the face of God. You don't put your sword down. You ain't so much put it down. You have finally start taking down. They taking down. How mama raised us. What he said, don't remove the old landmark. It don't take all of that. You ain't got to. Terry for the Holy Ghost. Yeah. You can get saved and go to heaven. Yeah. The devil is a liar. That's the first start. You're going to need the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Don't you let the devil trick you out of thinking you don't need the. That's the day's generation. You get saved, get them a microphone, get them a briefcase, and get them the word of God and say, Preach. The devil will beat you down because I always say you can do what you want to do. That's as long as God got your back. If God ain't got your back, sit down till you be endowed with the power of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. You're going to need backup. This day and time we live in, you better get some backup. Amen. You better call 911 and ask them. They don't come by themselves. Most of them sit in the car until backup come. Yeah. Unless they try to get, make sergeant. And the one trying to make sergeant, nobody end up getting fired or getting shot or getting killed. But they trying to do it by themselves. You see them on the movie trying to break out the whole drug pen by themselves. You need backup, which is our Holy Ghost. But that's the day. It don't take all of that. Somebody lying. They've been bamboozled. They've been tricked. They've been bugwit. You don't need that. You ain't got no power. Sit yourself down. And if you want to and have a desire to do for God, Ask him and beg him, plead with him, Lord, fill me. Sometimes you got to trouble God. Fill me, Lord. But we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against the principalities, against the power, against the rulers, of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness. Where is it hiding? In high places. That's why you need the Holy Ghost. It steps in to do what you cannot do in the spiritual realm. Yes. You need backup. Yes. You need a direct line to the kingdom. Yes. You need a kingdom phone in your heart. Yes. You know the old song. He put a telephone in my heart. I, call, I can call home the glory anytime. Some can't call home the glory because they don't have that direct line. Not going to be before you long. Yes. The title of the message is, yes. I said, Lord, I want to encourage the man of God. Uh -huh. And I had this and I had that. He said, tell them what I told you to preach. I said, Lord, I preached that before. Okay. I said, okay, you okay. Can't, it's hard to kick against the prick. You won't find me arguing with God. The message says, Riders on the storm. Riders on the storm. Now, there is a storm out. They sang it. My brother saw it a few weeks ago. Out in the ocean and it's moving this way. I look at my sister. I say, you in a storm. You better get your umbrella. It's going to rain. But God has already, as he did Jonah, prepared 
a way out. Yes. No matter what the doctor says, even for Sister Carolyn, yes. God done made a way out. Because yes. for real, for real, Sister Carolyn shall be going home to glory. Yes. But God said, what does the song say? God is not through with me yet. How are you going to tell somebody God is a healer when you've never been sick? I almost lost my mind. I had breakdown. I had nervous breakdown. But look how I stand today. I stand in the glory of God. Not standing within myself. In other words, he kept me when I couldn't keep myself. Made way when I couldn't see my way out. The glory of God rests upon me. You say, Nate. I say, yes. How you, what did he ask them, honey? He said, they, they're going to watch the tape, but I know they're going to watch it. They show him, asked his father, my mechanic, a member at my sister church. He said, father. He said, yes, son. Pastor Brown had this. Pastor Brown had that. What kind of job he got, Dad? I said, you tell him for me, Elder Rowley. They don't see the tape. Tell him I'm employed by the kingdom. God the one that makes way. God the one that opens doors. God is my provider. Away. I said, you see my grandchildren? I'm raising them in the house of God. That's a word by itself. I'm employed by the kingdom. But daddy got a boat. He never asked nobody for nothing. How do you get that car he got outside? Is his credit score good? How can he afford $500 to fill up his boat with gas? I said, tell him it's favor. And in faith, watch it. The son said, the father said, and this is the truth, I ain't making it up to hang your laughing. The father said, hmm, son, that's a good question. I never looked at it like that. He said, but you know what? Being a man of God and a true man of God, God blesses his people. God take care of his people. Faith, faith, faith. What, what? Honey, what Pastor Pennell said, Bishop Pennell said, favor ain't fair. Amen. Some think you should have the things you have. You shouldn't have a house over Jersey. Yeah. But it is not because of us. Right. And what God did, yeah. you shouldn't have a job you got. That's what God did. Yeah. Some of us, would, I put both hands up. The, every job I had working in the printing and manufacturing paper, I never had the credentials for that. I just told the man what he wanted to hear. Yeah. God made a way. Yeah. Sign right here. You start tomorrow. Yeah. I told the man what he wanted to hear. Yeah. I didn't go in there and tell the man, well, you know, I never been to 12 years of college. I'm not going to tell him that. My children got to eat. They hungry. They eat a lot. I eat right. But well, any of you, I'm not going to hold you down. Amen. I just want to encourage the people of God. Ride us on the storm. Eventually, we're going to come out. But it's going to take faith to bring us out. It's going to take perseverance to bring us out. It's going to take fasting to bring us out. Turning down your place to bring us out. Uh, it's the week is coming. It's going to take all night prayer to bring us out. We all need something from God. But there are those that still run on the same oil in their car. Don't realize every three months your oil needs to be changed. Because it loses in velocity or something like that in coke when we used to do printing. When we would check how thick that ink is inside the bucket, we would check and see how it takes so long to come through the little hole. It loses something that is no volume no more to the engine. Every now and then, we need an oil change. Every now and then, 
We need to be made over again. Every now and then, we need our souls revived. But when we wrestle not against the flesh and blood, against the principality, against the power, against the rulers of darkness, against wicked places and high places, wherefore take unto you the whole armor. Take unto you the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil days. Having done all to stand, stand therefore having your loins girt about with truth. Have it on the breastplate of righteousness. Yes. Your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of salvation wherewith we shall be able, shall be able now to quench the fiery darts of the wicked. Take to you the helmet of salvation, sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Pray always with all prayer, supplication, in the spirit, and watching thereon with all perseverance, supplication, all saints. Watch what he said. And watching. Yes. They praying, preacher, but they're not watching. But that's not what he told us. He said, watch while he's praying. They're watching. But they're probably not praying. Yeah. Two go together. I'm watching. I'm praying. I'm watching because I'm looking for the manifestation of God. Yeah. I'm looking for the manifestation of the anointing. Yeah. That it will come in the house and destroy every yoke. Yeah. I'm looking for God to pour out his healing power. I'm looking for God to move in a supernatural way. Yes. I'm looking for God to dress us up yes. once again uh -huh. with the whole arm of God. Because our problem is we have omitted, we have taken off, we have taken down, yes. we have put aside yes. the arm of God. Things go good. Things go well, and that's when the devil makes his move. No sooner you stop praying, the devil attacks your marriage. No sooner you stop praying, the devil attacks your finances. You got to be with your guard up at all times. It's no time to let down. I found myself, I've been there now, I can't tell you what somebody else told me. I can't do that. But I will say, Sister Jackson, when I found myself slacking in prayer, I found that the enemy was creeping right in my marriage, creeping right in my finances, creeping right into my children. That was God's way of letting you know you better get that back down on your bended knees. You better get to praying and sit with God's face. Because the enemy sitting there waiting to make his move. Yeah, yeah. I don't care if it takes him 20 years. The devil don't like unity. Anything divided in the saints of God cannot stand. Yeah. But when you begin to seek the face of God, when you begin to call on the name of the Lord, yeah. things begin to happen. Yes, but you're, you're Job is, you got that start. I'm going to need a persevering spirit. Because we done got so lexy daisy today. Don't want to pray. Don't want to read the word of God. And don't even want to hear from God. He done spoiled us so. We so blessed. Walk in the dealership. Walk out with a car. God done blessed us. That's his favor. But when God sent a shaking, yes. when God sent a shaking, yes. good God Almighty, uh -huh. the old song Bubba used to sing, when God gets ready, you got to move. Yes. First lady often saying, if you're not in the way of God, 
Get in the way of God. Get in the presence of God. I want his favor shining on me, raining down on me, rain down on me. I can't make it without him. I can't preach without him. I can't live without him. I'm going on 40 years of being married. I can't do that without him. In these last days we have what, please? Temptation is all around. We're going to need the strength of God to keep us. And to give us a well made up mind. I'm almost done, saints. I just wanted to encourage the people. To tell you, hold on. Keep praying. Keep seeking the face of God. He draws nigh. When you think God don't hear your prayers. When you think God don't hear you. He's making a way out of nowhere. He's busy working while we call and know his name. Yes. He's working behind the scenes. My God have a saying. The saying is, if he had not worked it out, he's working on it. God has not forgotten us. God has not forsaken us. You think he's going to forget about our pastor young? God is a troublemaker. Oh, you don't believe me, do you? Poor Joe, minding his business. What he told the enemy? Can you consider my buddy Joe? How about my friend Joe? You consider Joe might have nothing to know with it. He's a troublemaker. But God can use them because He knows you're gonna hold on. He might not be able to use you because He knows you're gonna take that. But you, I can, I can pick on you because I know you're going to keep the faith. Yeah, you understand. But it's still a troublemaker. But if God, why you put me through this, Lord? I ain't even came out of that yet, Lord. What Richard Pryor said, why not you, brother? Why not you? Yeah, why not you? I said, Elder Brown, I said, why is I going through this? He said, this test it's going to make you or break you. Yeah. God looking for some soldiers. Yeah. God looking for somebody that got a backbone. Yeah. That's going to fight in the army of the Lord and not take that. Yeah. So what is he doing? He's preparing us. Yeah. He's getting us ready for a job we may not well be well equipped for. But when God began to lay his hands on us. When God began to anoint us, I didn't even really get time to get to my notes, to get through because I didn't want to be no liar. I said, give me about 15 minutes and I'm going to take my seat. But sometime when God began to take over, I got the back up and let God have his way. Be clear. 
there now. My mama, grandmama used to say, she said, Napes. I said, yeah, mom. She said, I'm going home. I said, mama, you already home. She said, sit yourself down. You ain't got to sit you a born way. I was a little boy, I didn't know nothing better. I didn't know she was talking about she going home to live with the Lord. But by and by, the Lord called her name. When I found out, he was ready. He was ready. He was ready. You not get prepared for God. God is getting prepared for you. Get your house. 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 Get your
He said, Dave, let me tell you. He said, same thing he tells you, sure. He ain't, I ain't even tell him about it. He said, it's strength and numbers, Nate. I got to your daddy door on Friday. He said, you want to come in? I stood at the door. I couldn't move my legs. I couldn't stop trying to save my life. But I'm not crying because situation. Yeah, because I said, I said, Shabbat. I said, why? Stay right there, son. I say, Sharon, why it seems like Sister Jackson, people with money this big, we talk about family members, nothing happens to them, they got a perfect life, but you take this sweet little lady that goes shopping for everybody. But I have to remember what I said. Sometimes God is a troublemaker. He'll pick you out because he know you will make it through the storm. He not, may not pick you out, you may fall in the storm. I said, pardon me, your faith is showing. She began to look at me and said, Nate, I said, yes, darling. She said, thank you. I said, you're welcome. I said, but I can't take God's glory because the glory belongs to the Lord. I say, God, the Lord ready? He the Lord ready? Oh, Lord. He the Lord ready? He the Lord ready to throw you out? For Sister Karen, he the Lord
play real fast. Let us get on one accord. I know there's never enough prayer. Yeah. I know the overseer of prayer prayed for our first lady, for our pastor, for the whole house of faith. It's never enough prayer. Yeah. Never enough. He say always pray. Yeah. The problem is we don't stop praying. But God got a way of shaking our very foundation. Yes. Heavenly Father, yes. we come to you today. You know us. You made us. We as grass, Father God. You know our circumstance. You know our ups and downs. But God, we come to you in faith. We come to you trusting you. We look to the hills that come upon our altar, our, our finisher of our faith, Father God. See as a faith as a must be seen. We are saying to you, Father God, you can do it, Father God. There's nothing too hard for you to do. Move on our behalf. Move in the sanctuary of this place, Father God. Move in the city of our hearts, Father God. Touch our first lady. Strengthen our apostle, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Prepare them to do a new thing in your kingdom, Father God. Prepare them to do a new thing, a new thing. We declare a new thing in the house of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Move in the silence. Move in the children. Even strengthen them, Father God. Strengthen the grandchildren. In the name of Jesus, they need more of you just the same, Father God. In the name of Jesus, remember the first family, Father God. Remember this family in the house of God, Lord. In the name of Jesus, send help, send help, send help, Father God. Send help in the sanctuary, send help in the sanctuary. have just witnessed another powerful, powerful sermon here at New Redeemed Church. Listen, join us. You're in the Philadelphia area. We're located at 1501 Germantown Avenue in the heart of Germantown, Philadelphia. Our services are every Sunday at 12 o'clock noon. Why don't you be our special guest? You can contact us by email at newredeemedchurch at gmail.com. That's newredeemedchurch at gmail.com. This is your friend, your brother, Apostle Young, saying, I love you, and nothing you can do about it.